There are thousands of examples of innovative and effective leadership in education. Here we will look at just three. You can use the resources of this model for more examples. The first example is multi-professional team leadership from a Finland policy implementation in schools. The second example is a distributed school leadership approach in Australia. And finally, from Indonesia, we have an example of a classroom teacher's leadership having a national impact. The Finnish government has special education support policies and programs guiding student access and equity provision. Such policies and resources enable schools to provide focused education and support to every child that needs it. Schools use early intervention teams to address emotional, academic or health and medical needs that students might have rather than relying on remedial support. They use a multi-professional team leadership approach comprising a special education teacher, the school nurse, a psychologist, the classroom teacher and the principal. Regular collaboration and monitoring of each student's progress occur and necessary actions are planned in collaboration with parents or responsible caretakers. These meetings allow for the sharing of ideas, leadership and expert opinions from different members. This national policy and implementation not only address equity issues but also assures quality learning outcomes for every child. However, the leadership of implementation in the districts and individual schools determines the success of these policies. Schools use professional teams drawing on inclusive, servant, democratic and transformational leadership styles. The outcome focus of the leadership is on ensuring equity and access and addressing the learning needs of every learner. Lee is the principal of Chalice Community School in Western Australia. Lee instigated collaboration and dialogue across the school and community to ensure agreement on the direction of the school, the curriculum and pedagogical principles, particularly to assure that each child has access and their needs are met. The school community is diverse with high levels of English as a second language students, students from rural areas, students with learning and other disabilities and gifted students. The socio-economic profile of the community is also broad with some poor families, the majority are middle class and there are some who are comparatively wealthy. The school has a clear objective of addressing every student's learning needs and inequities. A distributed leadership structure and model was adopted to maximize teacher and student support. Control of a one-line budget for the school gave the principal flexibility in how she allocated resources. The distributed leadership model required and enabled the building of teams, not just of the leaders but across the whole school community. Team leaders work closely with classroom teachers to identify each child's learning and other needs and set up focused individual programs to address these. Each learner has a personalized program of support or enrichment as may be needed. So the teams and team leaders first identify children with learning disabilities and provide focused support. Second, identify migrant children and children who need English language support. And third, identify children who will benefit from enrichment experiences. Fourth, they act with the authority of the principal and make decisions and put in place actions. Fifth, have access to resources and budget within their delegation. The overarching driving principle of the school, the leadership and learner support, is ensuring that every child's needs are addressed. The distributed leadership model also mentors and supports the staff leadership aspirations and skills development. Leah is a science and physics teacher at a high school in Indonesia. Because of the impact of COVID-19, teachers and students undertook learning online and COVID-19 caused an access and equity problem. Many countries worldwide took similar actions and teachers, students and parents had to figure out what to do quickly. In most cases, teachers discovered how to support student learning online and cater for individual needs. Leah created a Google site as a home base for her students with resources and information to support learning. Other digital tools included Scratch for simulations, Padlet and WhatsApp for communications and online quizzes. She ensured every student had access, identified individual learning and other needs and took steps to address these. 
She provided class and individual support and had regular contact with parents. Despite difficulties of location and lack of resources, all of the students could continue their education, including preparation for national examinations. Building on her success, she corresponded with other science teachers through the Indonesian Science Teachers Association. She led a process of sharing ideas and resources. For example, they shared ideas about how students could set up experiments and activities at home using readily available resources. To leverage this community of practice, Leah was successful in an application for a Simeo Australia Education Link Award, bringing teachers together to build a website of resources and ideas broadly for STEM teaching. The project activities included several face-to-face -face and online seminars where teachers could share and learn. Although Leah is not employed as a leader, but is a classroom teacher, she demonstrates servant leadership through the support of students, parents and teachers to survive the lockdown, transforming teaching and learning. She demonstrates transformative leadership focused on addressing an excluding situation, ensuring every student has access to learning support. Her leadership practically demonstrates access to education for all. These brief stories of leadership reflect some common traits. The leadership is proactive. People take up the challenge and act. The leaders have a passion and a belief in what they are doing. The leaders collaborate and work with others because even though one person can make a difference, joining together with others can make a more significant and cascading difference. All of the examples focus on individual learner needs. There are many organizations across the world, across regions and in countries that provide leadership to address access and equity in education. For example, the MV Foundation in India, UNESCO, UNICEF and the World Bank. What organizations do you have in your community that you can work with and contribute to leadership? The exercise that follows this video asks you to think about what you will do. What leadership will you provide and how will you do this? Remember, everyone and anyone can provide leadership.